What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another preview for you guys today. It's Chelsea versus Manchester United. So you know I had to get side in. We had to chat about United v Chelsea. And Come on. it's been a mad season for both of us. I can't say it's been mm. consistent for either of us. You lot have had that big game in Paris though, so you must be gassed coming off that. Oh, hey, listen, big game in Paris, man. Paris, Paris United, mate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know about that stadium, but it just gives us memories, man. And and yeah, man, I think, you know what I mean? We came into the season very, very sceptical. A lot of things going behind the scenes. You know what I mean? We're, we didn't have no pre-season. And I feel like it did affect us. But now, I don't know what's going on, but the, the players seem to have their mojo now. They seem to have their mojo. And I think the players are now realising their potential now. They are really realising that. This season, anything could happen. And you're looking at you look at Liverpool, look at Man City, anything can happen. So, yeah, man, it's been it's been a crazy start season. But right now, I'm buzzing, and I feel like you know what? I've never ever thought Chelsea would be the, would be a, an easy fixture. But I think this one could be the not saying the most easy fixture. Don't say easy. Don't say no, easy. No, I'm, I'm saying I think I think it's gonna be the most. I, I've never ever been so confident playing Chelsea at the, right now. Really. Yeah, Chelsea have been known for good defences over years and years. Well, I've been watching Chelsea, John Terry, Carvalho, you know what I mean? Very, very mean defence. You just know you weren't getting behind their defence. And now... Thiago I'm, Silva. I, well, is, is he available? That's the thing, though. I don't know if he's available. Oh, yeah, yeah. You he know. should be available. Well... He had like I, an, I, I, he pulled up with an injury before the Sevilla match, but then he pulled out like a 7 out of 10 straight off that. I don't know, but I, I, I just look at Chelsea's side. I look like goals leaking goals and I'm just thinking yeah the perfect time to play Chelsea ever and I've never been confident against, I'm always one of them nah Chelsea I've got a bad record against Chelsea but a back on record against Chelsea but now I'm starting to believe Chelsea we can absolutely I think we're good I think 2 or 3 nil, me you know I really three do nil. Don't, 2 or 3 nil, man because listen, this will get clipped, I swear down listen you know you what is talk it, about man? leaky defences should we talk about leaky defences Man, 11 wait, goals conceded in your first three league games. Twan Zavi's back, mate. Twan Zavi, man. You get Six me? Six to from Tottenham at your own yard. Yeah, but 10 men, though, innit? You know what I mean? Like, it was, you know what I mean? That made a massive difference, you know what I mean? you got to realise that. Spursy. Spursy. I can't say nothing else. Even at yeah, your you own ground. Really, you, know, you, know you don't want to give him the um, kind of um, praise deal. But, like, honestly, I feel like we've learned from that. And I feel like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, yeah, as much as I don't rate him, this guy performs best when he's under pressure. He performs best when he's under pressure. Look at the game against Newcastle. Everyone written him off. Everyone thought, you know what? I think Newcastle are going to get a result. Paris Saint-Germain, mate. Neymar and Mbappe. You know what I mean? You would have thought them, them two yeah, alone. Yeah, is that just not another false storm? You remember two years ago hey, when you listen, had another I'm, great night in Paris yes, and then you know that. I understand that. And that's, and that's for me, yeah, is, 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 is an Achilles heel of Oligon Solskjaer. I don't know if he's a consistent manager. But what I can guarantee you is, yeah, He's an Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. When he's under pressure, he will absolutely have these players riled up for this game. And he does it time and time again. When it's backs against the wall, when it's, you know, you think his job's on the line, he turns into prime Alex Ferguson, mate. And that's your worry. And I feel like which, with the players with the play right now, with the system we've got with five at the back, maybe, I think that's what all fans are going for. Not my personal choice as a formation, but Man United will be going for five at the back. Um, the way it's been working for us and the way... Rash is on form now. Bruno Fernandes is, is is on form. You know what I mean? We look like we're getting our getting the sense out here. Obviously, I know the Chelsea's strengths and whatnot, but I just believe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Man United. When the backs are against the wall, when Man United never ever look like they're going to win any another game, they come out of nowhere, and it's again boom. Another another side to them. Like, you know what? They they can play like this every week, but we don't well, do I can that. Say the exact same thing about Chelsea. Both of it's just okay. waves of consistency right now. But well, do you think Chelsea have got you know with the belief in them? I don't know if Chelsea's got the belief in them. I don't. Mendy I, and Thiago I, Silva have conceded zero goals together. What did I say to you though? What did I say to you about Lampard being the first one to get sacked? I still believe that he is not getting I, sacked. I'm he telling is not you now, yeah, sacked. Lampard would be the first manager to be sacked. Nah, man, I'm not hearing it. You know what is it? It's not about him though. I just feel like the pressure of all these players that you've got here, the system is playing. Yesterday, the, the game against Sevilla. Lackluster, man. I watched the highlights. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, All these but I mean, the like, there's one progression. We kept a clean sheet. We didn't do that in the last few games before that. What, is that Chelsea now? 
that Chelsea Football Club. Man. Yeah, but we're I at the gelling know. phase. You do remember I also said that over the summer. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, going to no. come out and from yeah, yeah. the league. It, it is time, Ali, uh, Lampard. But I'm just looking at it from the ruthlessness of the board. You know what I mean? The board, I've, uh, you know what I mean? Mourinho was, was the first manager to give you a Premier League and they sacked him. You know what I'm trying to say to you? You know what I mean? Uh, Carlo Ancelotti again. You know, I don't know if he left on his own accord. But there's, there's a, there's, for me, I don't think the Abramovich has any kind of love affair you know, with, with Lampard. Yes, he was a legend for the football club. It's the same with Oligan and Solskjaer. When there's a time to go, I, I really do think they'll go. I really do. I feel like they will go because it's, it's a case of, you know what? Show it on the pitch. Show why we invested all that money into you. Show it on the pitch. And that's what's going to be Lampard's Achilles heel. Can he get the rep? Get the best out of the players? Havertz, Werner on the left. What, what's going on with Werner on the left? Uh, Werner on the, on the left, left was only because of injuries. Pulisic and Ziyech are back now, so that's not happening. Well, I, did, I reckon they'll start then against them. Um, Ziyech is more than maybe. I'm not sure if he's fully matched fit. Pulisic should start. It's about if it's Mount or Hudson Adore you starting for me, because I can't see Mason Mount playing another game on the left side. I'm, it's not even an agenda or anything like that. He, he just isn't a left winger and he's been overplayed to death and it's having an impact yeah. on his performances. Same thing that happened to Tammy last season. Playing way too much and they just okay. gapped out. Okay, then. Well, then I'm thinking... I when you, where do you go from there? Then? I, for me, still, like, I just feel like Man United the football club. Like when the when the ships are down, and when Man United are backs against the wall, FC, we somehow claw it back. We somehow claw it back, and I just feel like with this Chelsea side, with the way they're leaking in goals, you know, at the minute three three, the lack of belief in them to say seal off a game. The, the, the Kurt Zuma, you know, what I mean, more like you know, what I mean, Kurt uh, Bramble. You feel me, like I say. <laughs> Like Kurt I'm telling Bramble, you, man, really? Should we talk sure about Bambi man. with Harry Maguire? You're lucky he's suspended. No, let's. It's no Harry Maguire's not suspended. No, so he's not. He's not playing on he Saturday. Might not be playing. It's he an might injury, be isn't it? We got Juan Zabi, man. We got the Rochdale Bandini, mate. We got the Rochdale oh, Bandini. Bro, one is gonna have a yeah. meeting dust, and you know it. I think with the three at the back, I think we're secured, though. You're gonna need three at the back for the extra defenders around him, but I don't know. It's gonna be about who hits who on the break. It's really gonna be about what defense is worse. Ah, uh, I understand where you're coming from, but I just feel like we've got the bit between our teeth now. I really do. I think we've got a bit between our teeth. I think our our players are on form now at the minute. I'm not too sure up front what we'll go for. I think we're gonna play five at the back, and I feel like maybe he might put. But then again, I think he'll probably go with a four-three-two-one with Rashford up top. James on the left, Matter on the right. I really do. I feel like you'll go with, with that same lineup against Roch, uh, Newcastle. Players have got confidence in that. You know what I mean? Um, Ma uh, McTominay and Fred give that kind of energy that we feel. For me, not my personal two in there, but it worked against Newcastle. Worked against um, PSG in there. So, you know what I mean? Why can't it not work against maybe Chelsea who are lacking confidence at the minute? You know what I mean? I just feel like the, the onus is on us to... to to bring the game to Chelsea. I think Chelsea will take a draw and I think Lampard will bite a draw out of, out of United's hand. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong there. You know, I mean, Lampard is looking for a draw, I reckon, in this game. I don't think he's got the belief in him to win the game. I feel like, you know, he's he's, he's, on, the, he's on the back foot here. He needs a positive, solid performance. Like you said, the clean, sheet, clean sheets maybe bring good confidence in, in the team. So if you get a nil-nil, again, I think maybe that will might help him. Maybe a 1-1. One, one. I think that will boost the confidence of, of a manager like Lampard get up in there, you know what I mean, then go to the games. Because I feel like with these games, yeah, I don't necessarily think it's all about winning. It's all about making sure your team comes out of it in in, in, in probably a, a kind of a, the best way possible. And I'm thinking that more in no injuries, you know what I mean, no no players out, you know what I mean, injured, you know what I mean, like a, it's an aggressive game, isn't it? So a lot of tackles will be going in there, you know what I mean, nobody gets suspensions or whatnot, you know, nobody coming out there, you know what I mean, with lack of confidence or whatnot. Go out of there, get a draw, come out. I think that's Lampard's game plan. But I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, mate, I think, you know what I mean, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for the juggernaut. And, it's, and I think he's going to deliver, man. I really do. I think it's going to be a 3-0 win, you know. I think it's going to be a convincing... 3-0. Really Honestly, Here's man, I think it's going to be... Here's the thing, you're saying backs to wall. Lampard's Chelsea is well known for having backs to wall performances as well. There's been bare times where we've gone and we've had some terrible loss away to some side like Everton, like before... James Rodriguez and everything and then we went yeah. and beat Spurs 2-0 away and then we went and lost 2-0 at home to Southampton and then we went and beat Arsenal away in the next match yeah the plenty of time, like 3-0 Sheffield United and then we beat you guys in the semi-final trust me Frank Lampard can turn up when he wants to as well 
I'm going to go through a score prediction quickly before we go into the combined 11. Are you sure you want to drop 3-0? I'm going to put 3... You know what? I'm going to put 3-0 on there. 3-0 three by three United. 0 bro. Two goals, I reckon two goals from Rashford, one from Bruno. Yeah, but typically Bruno United. pen as usual. Head out here at the end. Three, pen it for Bruno at the end. I'm yeah. going to go 3 1 Chelsea. I think Chelsea are going to get the edge on this one, but I don't think they'll be a clean sheet because they just don't really come with us. Hey, you said 3 0 and you gave yourself a clean sheet. Yeah, but 3 1 when you've lost, you know, 3 3 and you had a 1 1 and they'll no draw. I just don't know, man. Bro, you cannot predict Chelsea. It's the one thing so I've learned over that. the last few years. You cannot predict this club. Every time you think they're going to do some bumminess, are you they come confident as a, per- as a fan? As a fan, are you confident though? As a fan, forget Chelsea. As a fan, are you confident in this game? I am confident, but it's also a sense of pride. I'm not letting Ole go four and one against us. Are you mad? That PE teacher going four and one. There you go, then. Frank there you go you then. That's crazy. it. Crazy. <laughs> we can't let that happen. Listen, is it is, is it upgrade PE teacher? Man, we can't win just for pride. We can't let Ole go four and zero against us. It's the same energy here. I think Ole hasn't even lost to us in the Premier League yet. I don't want him to get sacked with a clean sheet of victories against us. I can't have there that. There you go, then. I think he will, man. When Ole, when Ole's written off the cards, mate, he delivers, man. And that's Ole to you. You know, he struggles against the lesser teams. Like, it's a bigger team, but he's got a good record. And yeah, that, those is, are some that is clear, man. Against us. Those are some sus oh, I don't victories, think and you know it. it. I mean, the 4 0 doesn't lots of suspect, is it really? 4 0 is like the least really suspect. suspect of the lot. The other one was two jammy set pieces, and the other one was VAR. And no, I, was there, man, I, was there, I was there, man. I was there, man. I was there, the 2 0. I was there, the 2 0 win, man. It was a convincing, convincing win. Bruno Fernandes stole the it show. It was not. Your Harry second Maguire. goal scorer shouldn't have even been on the pitch. The first offside goal should nah. have stood. Anthony Taylor tax as well. Bruv, it was all BS. No, no, I think you, I think you, 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 you're reading into it too much, man. I think we were convincing of that win, mate. We were absolutely convincing. We were dominant. We felt we were brilliant. That game, Fred was unbelievable. We had, uh, we did a three-five-two formation. We stuck to it. You know, I thought we were brilliant, mate. I really thought we were brilliant. Nah, I think you lot really got lucky with the fact that Kante came off in the first ten minutes. But yeah, you know cool. what? I give you that. I give you that one. I give you that one. Kante was a big blow. Yeah, Kante but it is, it's cool. We'll leave it. I mean, I'm just gonna leave that last season anyway because it's not really much to remember. Yeah. We'll go. To, we'll go into the combined eleven now. Uh, formation. Should we just go for a generic four-three-three, or what are you uh, thinking? Let's go for a four-three-two-one. Four-three-two-one. So four, oh, four, four, four-two-three-one. Four-two-three-one. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. We'll go. All right. We'll start off in goal. Now I know yeah, you. Good. You're going to pop in David De Gea. Come on, he's Me, on form now. I'm going to go for the guy with the 80.5% save percentage in Premier League history. An average of 22 goals conceded each Premier League season. The man, the myth, the icon, the legend, Petr Cech himself. He's going to get the gloves, relax. strap on retirement the helmet. Home. And get you don't need a retirement home FC, man. Don't become that retirement home FC, you know what I mean? That was Arsenal, man. Don't become no, that kind of No, he's already our second string goalkeeper. We'll bring right Christoph Lollish on as well, and you trust me, everything will be wow. back to normal. Wow, you know what I mean? Chariot Case <laughs> FC. Is that what we had on? Chariot Case FC. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, hey, have you seen the level of goalkeeping over the last year and a half? I don't care who we bring in at this point. We could go to Hyde Park and just do trials and pick the best one. I'll still oh, take yeah. it. <laughs> take the local ones, and the locals. I'm not even kidding you. I'll find some guys on road who can really bang out goals differently than Kepa can. Like, I've nah, seen... Hey, poor, David Gay has to be there, but David Gay has to be the first one. Come on. You, you yeah, yeah. That. I can't lie. I'll run all the jokes I want, but you can have goalkeeper. If David it weren't Gay, the pair yeah. check signing up, I'd have nothing to even talk about. I was just going to go straight to right Ooh. back. So, yeah, you can have De Gea. But speaking of right back, this one will be an interesting debate because I think... Now there's a you lot know more what? to talk about than back in July when we had the semi-final. Exactly. I think Rhys James is quality, but I just don't think he's an all-round better right back than wan I really don't, man. I think wan now is, is more improving attacking-wise. His defensive now is unbelievable. Getting back to the form against PSG, mate. What a, what an absolute maverick performance. I like that earlier, uh, uh, so Rhys James, but I just look at it and I think, is he... <sighs> Is he is he is he better than Wan Bissaka? For me, 
overall. I'm not too sure, mate. Uh, for me, I'd have one Bissaka there. I really would do, man. I can't lie. I'm going Aspi over Reese James. But also, quickly, are we doing ability or form? Because we're going to start arguing about that later on, if not. I think, I think we'll do form. 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 Okay, cool. I'm going to go Aspi then because he started more of the games recently at right back. He's brought in the leadership that we've really needed in that side. Thiago Silva's been brought in for that, but he's still trying to acclimatise the English language, so that's going to take a little bit of time. So Aspi's kind of fed in and helped as well because of the understanding of the French language from his time Marseille. Even his ability going forward, you say wan has improved, so has Azpilicueta yeah. throughout last season. Mm. With experience, I'm still pushing Azpilicueta. And now I kind of get you more if you push wan but... I'm willing to leave this one more as an undecided one. Yeah, we'll leave it as an undecided one. And uh, if the, the, we're letting people vote below, you know what I mean? Who, yeah, come. Who should be there? Juan Bissaka or... Yeah, drop a I mean? comment down in the comment section below if you might want to know. Yeah. Centre back. And now, I can't lie, I'm not letting you have a spot in this. Not in this one. Sorry, I don't care. Even with the what mistakes... Late defense, shout. There's late no shout way Tom I'm Davey. taking any of yours. But you know what? We can't talk about the Premier League though, innit? You know what? I'll give you the centre backs. You know, I'll give it you. But the problem is, though, I don't think your centre backs are as better as ours. They really are. Kurt Zuma, he's just had a bad week. So we're not that Kurt really is. Why don't we put Harry Maguire and. Um, and uh, we're Thiago not Silva. sneaking Harry Maguire into this lineup. No, but Harry Maguire and, and, and Thiago Silva are the best out of the no. lot. No. No, Kurt Zuma Kurt and it. Thiago Silva are the best nah, too. No, Kurt Zuma, no, 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 he's not, man. He's Kurt not. Zuma would walk into your defence. What did he do he in the other game? He would walk into your defence. You think Maguire and Zuma wouldn't be the best thing to your back line? Someone's oh actually covered the pace behind him because he's Christian slow as hell and can't turn. I thought you said I said Christian is something like that. This guy now, is Christian, awful. I'd even throw him in, him in as well. Ignore the stupid red card against Liverpool. He's had a great season. I'm putting Twan Zabi in there. I'm putting Twan Zabi in there. Twan Zabi and Thiago. No, not with what one game. I can't have that. Tiago already fed, Tiago has kept a clean sheet in his last two games. So he I'm, has not to go in. I'm not having Zuma then. So we have to pick another person. Who, what? Who, are we going Christiansen Put Aspie. then? Put Aspi. Put Aspi in centre back. Aspi in centre backs. And then you want Wan Bissaka right back. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll do that. Aspi cool. and Tiago Silva centre back. That's actually cool. I like that. Left back. Yeah, still Ben Chilwell. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that one. You know what I mean? First time you got a certified. Like, Tellez is all right, but he's only had one game, really. And yeah, yeah, I'll give, that, I'll give you that one. All right, cool. Yeah. So we'll go into midfield now. This one will be interesting. Um, for me, you've got two cities you're going to have to play for me. I'm, 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 I'm going to say it right here, man. I'm going to put Fred in there. I'm putting Fred in there. On recent form? Recent form, yeah. Fred's been unbelievable. Against Newcastle, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? It, I, I think in that too, Fred has to be in there. Has to be in there. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean, I was going to put no, Kante no, no, cool, in there, cool, but cool, I don't think I'll, I'll rate Kante, but fun. the last two games he's been a bit iffy. Yeah. So I don't think I could put him in there. I'm putting Jorginho in there though, because he's been class since the start. Yeah. Of the season. Yeah. There, there would be a good balance there. One that could bite and then one could go. You know what I mean? To give the yeah. ball around. But yeah, be a good little yeah, good balance in that squad. Um, yeah. Third spot. I think it's got to be Bruno. I'm sorry, but you cannot tell me Havertz has played better than Bruno. He has not been the I can tell you they've both been playing well and they both deserve to be on there. Yeah, well, I, I'm not disputing that. I, I just feel like Bruno Fernandes has been the catalyst for my United so far. Um, Tell you, you what, think? I'll probably give you Bruno, but I want Havertz on the right side. Why? No, balance. that's not balanced though, is it? He's played on the right side a couple times for us this season already, so I'm counting in them. Wow. So, all right, then Rashford has Even to be on the left. I'm going to fight to the death for Bruno's spot. Rashford, Rashford has to be on the left, surely. On Rashford? Form. Oh, on what? Because, what, that one goal against PSG? No, no, no. He's been, no, he's got two two assists and a goal. He's got four goals. I think he's got four goals and four assists this season, I think he's got something like that. He's been on form, man. Rashford, listen, I don't fully rate Rashford to the levels that I think he could become, but I still think he's been on form. Listen, you got to give credit where it's due, mate. Credit where it's true. Rashford has yeah, been yeah, class, To be man. fair, Pulisic, he's only had the first two games. He's there still getting back to full-match fitness. Hudson and you know what? Great. I can give you with my chest, you can have word up front, because Martial has done nothing this season. Not even one okay. goal. You know what? You fed my ego a little bit. Cool. Cool. You can have Marcus Rashford on the left. 
Oh, we've got David De Gea. Right into the middle when we're happy. David De Gea, Juan Bissaka. Uh, we've got uh, Asby, uh, Thiago Silva, Chilwell, uh, Fred, Jorginho, Bruno, Havertz, Werner, Rashford. Yeah, you know what? That. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'll take that. It was a close call for Pogba, but I think Pogba's not been on the form recently. If we we're gonna choose, if we we're gonna choose um, by ability, Pogba would be in the as a yeah, team, yeah. I'd say. You know what I mean? But I'm talking about the season in terms of you know what I mean, uh, form wise, and I think Fred's been unbelievable this season so far. When it's been yeah, game no, game form, yeah, I don't really see many disagreements on that, guys. You know, you know what to do. Let us know down in the comment section below if you agree or disagree with any of the names that we've already dashed in Saeed any final thoughts before we wrap this up three nil oh, you're still keeping three this. nil I think it's going to be an easy easy game guys and you know what listen it could be a, a, a 100% Chelsea and chill man it really could be I'm, and yeah, I'm ready you know what it. when we end up smashing you I'll send you a link to the phone in and you lot can jump on well I'll come in happy mate that's all I'll say we shall see, bro. We shall see. We but shall Saeed, see. anyway, thanks for coming on. You guys, it's going to come out a little bit late, but this is his birthday. So, again, Saeed, happy birthday. Thanks for jumping on. And leave a happy birthday yeah. down in the comment section below as well. As usual, subscribe to United Central. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Same way, subscribe to Carefree Lewis G as well if you guys haven't done so. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know your score predictions for United Chelsea as well. And, yeah, we'll see you for the game. Let me know how excited you guys are. Up the Chelsea. Nobody United.